There are some depths we'd like to think we wouldn't go in order to satisfy our curiosity. I think today's video will show that that depth is rather deep. So you can see I've changed up. We don't have the standard board here, it's underneath. I had to protect it because today's donation to the back office is a men's hand dryer from a toilet. Um, this is the box apparently that the new one came in. So I'm gonna just extract from it the old one. And I've never seen inside one of those. I kind of can imagine what's in them, but that's as far as it goes. Oh, so this is quite well packaged actually. Boom. I've got all of the books and installation manual for the new one, so that's interesting. I don't know if it's a like for like, but hang on. Oh, it's already smelling a bit like wee. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but it does actually smell like urine. So that all of that pee that gets sucked through the atmosphere is obviously collecting inside. And you can see my mic here. I don't even want to touch it just in case it all gets contaminated. So let's get rid of the lid. I don't think it's been assembled properly, but that's quite nice. That is a very nice thick piece of stainless there. That is a bit of quality. It, it's one of those things that would be probably quite nice to get working. I mean, it's not too smelly. Yeah, it's all right. I think we just give it a rub down. It'll probably be okay. So, oh, it's nice and light now as well. You have here a circuit board probably to operate the timer circuitry. So you can see a transformer here. There's a small adjuster here. I imagine that's for setting the time, a chip which has been anonymized and a relay. So you're basically just switching this relay. Uh, there will be an interesting thing and there is the interesting thing, which is the infrared detector. So that's coming in on these four wires. So that's what sets this thing all on and off. And inside there, there is the motor. So I'm gonna hook up some power to this because it is mains, it needs to be hooked up here. And we'll see what it does and probably try to figure out why do they get rid of it if it looks okay. If you have something hanging around long enough, it'll find a use. It's energized. I did notice it making a clicking sound. So it sounds like the relay clicked when I covered over one here, but no fan noise. So something I've noticed among the circuit, I'm being a bit careful because it is live, I could unplug it here, is that it does have something behind this panel. So I think we ought to have a quick look in here. I think that'll be the heating element. I can hear it knocking around. Let's have a look in there. Let's see if we can get this out. Ooh, and we can. Yeah, that's not looking totally healthy. That's really messed up. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty much melted itself to smithereens. It is possible to replace this sort of thing. Now there is a thermal switch in here. Interestingly, remember I do have this unplugged by the way, but this has all bonded itself to it. That wire has actually bonded itself right in there. And also we have this thermal fuse. Let's see if the thermal fuse is still active. Hopefully not. Ha! Huh. So there is still power going through that fuse. So you you could um, you could salvage this with some new heating elements. No life in the unit. So I've actually totally pulled this out. It is actually still connected to mains power, although the mains power isn't plugged in. This is the power input to the board, and you can see it actually switches a comma a live here onto this rail from a common neutral. And it gives two live outputs because one goes to the heating element and one goes to the fan. A bit like a glorified hairdryer. Let's say glorified hairdresser. That would have been wrong. So I'm gonna plug it in now and let's listen and see if it clicks. I didn't hear a click. And I'm going to measure the AC voltage on the output pins here rather cautiously. You can just about see the meter there in the corner. And you can see we're at, it says nine volts, but it just means nothing basically. I'm going to try to activate the unit. You're gonna click for me. Ah, it did click. I don't know if you heard that, it did actually click. 
and you can see 200 volts across those pins. So this board, this actual board itself is pretty good. I've just uh, tested the continuity through the motor. The motor's gone. So we know the motor's gone, the heating element's gone, so that is pretty much toast. However, there is uh, a redeemable part. So this is definitely going to go into my box of tricks to have something that's switching mains uh, amounts on a close proximity detector like that could be useful. So have a think. Let me know what you think we could use this for down below. As ever, thank you for watching.